Hey everybody, it's Misty, your bathtub guru, and I am here to show you guys another fun demo. Today we are going to be demoing my sensitive skin face mask. I have four face masks total. I've got my sensitive skin that we're going to do today. I've got one for oily skin, one for anti-aging, and one for normal to dry. So no matter what skin type you've got, this girl's got your hookup. So one really cool thing with this is there is so many things packed in here for your skin. It helps reduce puffiness, reduce redness, it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antibacterial, helps boost collagen, helps reduce um, wrinkles and fine lines, helps boost elasticity, and so many more amazing things. So this stuff is really awesome. And it's really simple because all you need to do, the instructions are in the back, but you just get a half of, I can never remember, half of a tablespoon and mix it with one teaspoon. So it's super, super simple to mix together. And this little jar normally gets you about six masks in it. So it's pretty awesome. So just for sake of time, I already mixed mine together. But this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a reddish looking clay. The anti-aging is black, the oily is green, and the normal to dry is kind of like a brownish yellow color. But this one is pinkish red that we're going to do today. I use a brush to put it on. Some people like to just use their fingers. It's just total preference what you would like to do. Um, and what you want to do first is you want to just clean your whole face off just to make sure that you do remove any like dirt or any dead skin off there. Obviously this is an exfoliator so it will get any dead skin off but anything that you can remove off your skin first will help this just penetrate even farther and get way more benefits. So sorry guys my nose is so itchy today. So this is half a tablespoon with one teaspoon water and you get pretty good amount. If you like it a little bit thicker, you can add just a little bit more or you can just do a little less water. So I just get it on my paintbrush and we're going to see my paintbrush, my makeup brush, and we're going to see how this goes so that I don't get it everywhere. Normally I don't do it in my bathtub, but <clears throat> that just keeps happening with my demos. So I think this is just going to be the place for my demos. But you just want to get kind of a nice layer across to all of your skin. And I always try and paint up because I've heard, I don't know for sure if it's true, but I've heard when you pull down on your skin, it can actually pull on the skin and make your skin saggy. So I've always heard that you should go up. So I'm just going to go with that <clears throat> because I don't want to make any more wrinkles or anything because that's what we're trying to erase with this. And this is also really good for acne too, you guys. The stuff that's in it will help with that. So I know this kind of looks funny. I thought about just putting it on and showing you, but <clears throat> then it kind of wouldn't be really like a really good demo. So just bear with me. Who knows how long this demo is going to be, but I mean, we can hang out together. It's totally fine. So once you get a nice even, even layer everywhere, you're going to want to leave this on about 10 to 15 minutes. And how you know if you want 10 or 15 minutes is how dry it is. So you want to have it be pretty dry, which I'll show you um, with mine once we get to that point. So I still have some left in here. You guys can kind of see it rolling around in there. So anything that I have left or anything that you have left, you can either put more on where your more trouble areas are. Like if you have, like I get a lot of zits right here and right on my chin. It drives me crazy. So you can just kind of put a little bit more on there. You don't want it so much that it's like never going to dry. You don't want to just suffocate the skin. But you can add a little bit more. And then if you still have some left from that, this is also totally fine to put on your neck. So you can just get anything that's left and go farther down onto your neck, apparently onto your ear too. 
So this stuff is really great because I still have some left. And so it's good also because, you know, some people have a little bit bigger faces. So even with the measurements that I gave you, for most people, you're not really ever going to need more. Like I've practiced this on my husband and I love my husband, but he kind of has a big head. And still that same measurement is good for his head. That's kind of how I base it off. So I still have some in there that I could scrape out, but I don't really want to go too much farther down. So I don't want to get anything on my shirt, even though I already did. But just for the sake of this, I'm not going to go farther down. Like if I, if I was just doing this to do this later on, I probably would keep going. Just because I don't like to be a waster. So <clears throat> you just kind of want to get like a nice even layer around and then you're just going to kind of hang out. You will feel as it starts to dry, you'll feel it start to tighten. Like right now I can do this nice and easy. But once it starts to dry, it will tighten and so you just can't move your eyebrows as much. Probably can't. I and mean, you can. It's just going to crack it. So for the sake of this demo, we're just going to fast forward through this part. All right, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's pretty tight. I mean, I can still move my eyebrows, but around my chin and around my lips are feeling pretty tight. So it's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off now. Normally, I would just get a washcloth and wipe it in the sink, but because I'm doing a demo, I've got a cloth and I've got some water in here. I normally use hot water just because I like the way it feels. Hot water helps open your pores really well and it helps remove dead skin really well. So I'm using just some hot water and a washcloth just for this. And I'm going to bring it over here. So normally I would, if you're going to do this, I would definitely not recommend using a white towel just because it's probably going to stain your white towel. This is the towel I use every single time and it's never stained, but it's also gray. So I don't know if it will stain, especially the anti-aging one. It's got active charcoal in it, so it's pretty pitch black. So I would definitely not use a white towel with that one just in case it does stain your white towel. But as you can see, this is coming off pretty easy. And that's just because of the warm, hot water. It comes off pretty easy. Like, I'm not really having to put much pressure to wipe this off. So, once you take your face mask off... Guys, I look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once you take your face mask off, I just let my skin dry. Just because I put water on it and all this. I let it dry for just a few minutes first. And then it depends if I'm doing in the day or at night. If I'm doing it at night, I'll go ahead and put my nighttime moisturizer on. If it's during the day, then I'll go ahead and put my daytime moisturizer on. And then I can just go ahead and go about my day with putting my makeup on or whatever I'm doing, going back to bed. Who knows? Saturday. You never know. So as you can see, Pretty sure I got it all. It comes off relatively, really, really easy without much scrubbing. So, this is me. Beautiful now. Um, and one other thing I wanted to say about this. Sorry, I can see a hair in my eye. Um, one other thing that's really cool about the sensitive skin mask is that I have eczema really bad. I get it on my mustache area. I get it on my chin and I get it in my eyebrows. At least on my face. I get it other places in my body. Guys, I cannot find this hair. Um, and so one really great thing with this is it actually helps the eczema because there is stuff in it that is nourishing, like moisturizing nourishing. So it helps nourish that so that it doesn't flare up. So this is really great too if you guys do have eczema and you do get it on your face. So that is my demo. If you guys have questions, let me know. If you guys want to try this amazing face mask, you know where to hit me up. Have a great day.